King is waiting for you. He can't wait to furnish his palace with your lovely things. <laughs> it's so true, brother. Laughter abounds in the mouths of fools. Hey, Abraham, if you go to the market, Try not to get too rich. somewhere else, you hear me? Who are they? Have they come to see the king? They must be very rich. I wonder where they come from. Are you crazy? It's impossible. 
Absurd. I, Herod, am the king of Israel. And all respectable kingdoms have only one king. Only one. Yet, the stars speak very clearly. But do you know how to interpret what the stars say? Listen, Herod. It is possible to foretell the destiny of any man from the movement of the stars. Well? The stars always tell us what happens. And above all, what will happen. So? What do your stars say? A star never seen before has appeared in the Orient. It has long been awaited. A new light. And what does this star mean to you? The meaning is found in our books. A king is about to be born in these days. He will be born here where the star has guided us. Why didn't anyone tell me about this star? Where is my astronomer? Look at this date, how sweet it is. Please try them. Eat as many as you like. Where will you go now? To look for the baby king, of course. Of course. Once you have found him, come back here and tell me where he is, so that I too may go and visit him. We will return and tell you if we find him. You have betrayed Herod. What have we concealed from him? Did you know of the birth of a new king here in Judea? Yes or no? <sighs> yes, of course. So, you already knew everything? Of course we did. We knew everything. Like those, uh, all those who read the Holy Writings. Israel has been waiting for a Messiah, a king, a redeemer for centuries. For centuries and centuries. Well then? Well then, uh, yes, uh, there will be a new king. Hmm. It's the truth. You see, Herod, it's written here. Read. Read what is written there. And from you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, he who shall rule Israel shall come and extend his power to the remotest boundaries of the country. And who wrote this? The prophet Micah. But no, this was written far too long ago. A long, long time ago. But should I believe it? Herod, the people of Israel have long awaited the arrival of a new king, a redeemer. Now this time has come. Kings are never born like that. Kings are sons of kings. And here, I am the only king. You rich old donkey. Make yourself useful for once, instead of always worrying about eating. If you leave him alone, he's capable of eating an entire haystack in a few minutes. Don't stroke him too much, Joseph. He's already very spoiled. See, some people are coming here. The 
source is myrrh. It is a rare and precious oil which protects against disease. In my country, only kings use it. We followed the star and we are here to adore the new king of the world. To this king, I bring gold, symbol of power and eternity. To this king, I bring incense, which burns in temples, scent of man's prayers to God. what has to be done. Rest assured, we know where to find him. Remember, not only in Bethlehem, but throughout the territory. It shall be done. Not even one baby shall be spared. Those are my orders. Now go. Joseph, Joseph, huh? huh? Oh, it's you again. Get up, Joseph. Take the child and Mary and flee to Egypt. Herod wants to kill your baby, but flee, Joseph. Hurry. Mary, Mary. Joseph, what's the matter? The angel of the Lord visited us. And what did he say? King Herod is threatening to kill the baby. Herod? But why? We have to leave. Are we going back to Nazareth? No, we're going to Egypt. So far away? When will we go to Jerusalem to bring the baby to the temple for the presentation? First we'll go to Jerusalem. We'll hide in the crowd, then we'll leave for Egypt. You'd be of great help to me. What? Do you want that good for nothing? He'd only be of trouble to you. All he can do is pray. If you want, you can bring him with you. I don't need him. Thank you, Elliot. When I come back, I'll pay for your donkey. Where are you going? To Egypt. I have been there. You have to go south of Bethlehem, travel through the desert, and walk along the coast before you reach the city. Uh, do you think you can manage alone? Your donkey will be of great help to me. Take this little goat, too. No, really, I can't. Look how many things there are here. A mat on which your wife and son may rest. A hen for eggs. Oh! <laughs> Elliot, I can't bring all these things with me. Joseph, the baby is only a few days old. Your wife is in no condition to travel yet. Wait another few days. I can't. Why not? God's will.
this? Huh? Sarah! Sarah! My son, what are you going to do to him? No! <laughs> What's going on in there? <laughs> What have you done to the child? <laughs> Martha! I heard by the prophet Jeremiah of Bethlehem. Rachel weeps for her children and refuses to be comforted because they have been killed. Oh. My name is Simeon, and I have been waiting for this moment for a long time. M may I hold your baby? Why did you want to hold him, Simeon? The Holy Spirit told me that I would not see death until I saw the glory of the Lord. Huh? Oh, Lord. Now let your servant go in peace, according to your word. My eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared before all peoples. A light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people of Israel. Glory to you, O oh my Lord, Savior of the people of Israel. <gasps> <laughs> Joseph, did you hear that? It's late, Mary. We have to go now. The city's just over there. I'm looking for Ezra's house. Well, you shouldn't be looking for it here. We're not Jews. Go over there. That's where the Jews live. Tell me where the house of Ezra, the blacksmith, is. I don't know him. I haven't been living here very long. Joseph. Don't worry. I know we'll find Ezra's family soon. Excuse me. Do you know which is the house of Ezra, the blacksmith? That one. Why are you looking for Ezra? I am Joseph of Nazareth. He took in my brothers during the famine. I am Ezra. Welcome to my house, Joseph. Your young wife seems very tired. You must have traveled a long way to get here. What has happened? In Bethlehem, there was somebody who wanted to kill our son. The baby? 
It's a long story. Now your family is safe. My house shall also be your house. Jesus was born, announced by the prophets, awaited by the people. And yet there was a man who tried to kill him as soon as he was born. Who was this cruel man? It was Herod, the king of Palestine, named the Great. Herod ruled over a territory that was handed over to him by the Romans so that he would dominate its populations and ensure their submission to the empire. Herod received a Greek name from his father. It means descendant of heroic stock. He was the one who ordered the reconstruction of the temple of Jerusalem and the imposing fortresses of Macarons, where John the Baptist died, of Masada and Herodion. Because of his cruelty, he had many enemies and lived in fear of losing his throne. This was the end of a tyrant whom the Gospels hold responsible for the killing of all the male children under two born in the territory of Bethlehem. In fact, he feared that a messiah, a king, capable of taking his throne from him, had been born in that village. Bethlehem is a village perched on a small hill about seven kilometers south of Jerusalem in the territory of Judea, the southern region of Palestine, situated between Samaria and the Negev Desert. This land is rough and rocky, and consisting of hills and mountains on the brink of the desert steppe and having a type of vegetation that is suitable for pasture. And that is why it was always populated by shepherds and farmers. Among the empire's southern territories, Judea, Samaria and Galilee are the three regions of Palestine which at the time when Jesus was born made up the kingdom of King Herod the Great. In the year 754 after Rome's founding, these territories were subject to the Roman Empire's authority, together with a great part of the territories in present Europe and those distributed on all the Mediterranean shores. Jesus, a baby born in Bethlehem in that year, was destined to bring an announcement to this immense empire, the gospel which would shake its deepest foundations. Jesus, he is the star. 